Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pangasinan too. Please settle down as we are about to start the program. This is Marjorie Ardola Santos, teacher three of Tayug National High School. This is Raymar Villacadén, teacher three of Tayug National High School. Your, Your host, host for today's, today's event. Ralph Waldo Emerson, a famous American philosopher, once said, Nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. When you know what you are doing, it is not working anymore. It becomes your passion. Many wants being recognized, but the few are worthy of recognition. And to formally start this awarding ceremony, we have a request, everybody, to rise for an opening prayer to be followed by the singing of our national anthem and Pangasinan Division to him through an audio-visual presentation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, the fount of all goodness and grace, the cause of wisdom, the source of intelligence, we welcome you, O Lord, to this meaningful gathering of your beloved, who continuously give you thanks for every opportunity to learn something new and become fruitful to the works of your creation. May we find bliss in today's session and become more productive children and co-creators of the earth. This we ask and pray through Christ the Lord. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Old, 
find hope and glory in this world. Oh, I sing a buhay, pangasinan to. To our ever engaging and dedicated schools division superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. Sison. To our equally competent and dynamic assistant schools division superintendents, hard working division authorities, school heads in the division of Pangasinan 2, school administrators and staff, faculty members, families, friends, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen good, good morning. morning. Welcome. Um, to the 2021 Division Outstanding Science Implementers Awarding Ceremony with the team Transforming Lives of Learners through Unique and Commendable Accomplishment of Science Teachers in the New Normal. Indeed, we have been successful in promoting, nourishing, and furthering quality and excellence in our field. But quality and excellence will not be possible without the needing support of the Division of Fantasy and Two Officials. This is the best time, ladies and gentlemen, to recognize the important individuals behind this event. At this point, we are proud to present to you the Division of Fantasy and Two Officials, headed by the gentleman who has always been a source of inspiration, our very own Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. Sison. Let's watch this. I am honored to introduce to you the Division of Pangasinan II Officials. Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. Sison. Officer in Charge of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Elementary, Dr. Wilfredo E. Sindayan. Officer in Charge of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Secondary, Dr. Arlen B. Casipin. Chief Education Supervisor of the Curriculum Implementation Division, Dr. Cornelio R. Aquino. Chief Education Supervisor of the School Governance and Operation Division, Dr. Rosalino T. Agpalo, Jr. Education Program Supervisor 1 in Charge of Science, Dr. Julie G. De Guzman. Senior Education Program Specialist of Human Resource Development, Dr. Maria Luisa C. Catlat. At this moment, it is very overwhelming to hear some inspiring messages coming from our Assistant Schools Division Superintendents, Dr. Wilfredo E. Sindayan and Dr. Arlene P. Casipio. Ladies and gentlemen, to read the message of our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent for Elementary, Dr. Wilfredo E. Sindayan, please welcome Dr. Christopher C. Miranda, Master Teacher 1 of the Tayug National High School. Good day to all of us. This is Dr. Christopher C. Miranda, and it is my honor and privilege to read to you the message of the Officer in Charge 
Office of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Wilfredo E. Sindayan. It is with great honor that I convey my warmest congratulations to all the winners and finalists in the 2021 Division Search for Outstanding Science Implementers. Well, it cannot be denied that science has been so instrumental in making lives easier and more comfortable than even before. Apparently, approaches to problems have been more effective each day because we are being helped by what science would offer or tell us. Undoubtedly, science does not only help us solve the current concerns in the society and environment, but also allows us to understand the challenges in the future. I express my wholehearted gratitude to all those who had made this division search a successful one, which include the technical working group, the secretariat, and the consultants. We must continue our efforts by which we can allow our learners to better understand and use science in their everyday life. Doing such would give them the ability to seek information which can assist them in coming up with better decisions. As we know, as far as science curriculum is concerned, it provides our learners the necessary competencies in the world of work and it prepares them to become informed and active participants in the community. Likewise, I also express my sincerest thanks to all our science teachers, the school and district science coordinators, school heads, and the public school district supervisors for their unwavering support to this worthwhile endeavor. It is worthy to mention that I am elated by the fact that even if we have been experiencing the effects brought about by this pandemic, we were still able to successfully conduct the search and our winners and finalists were able to actively participate in it, adhering to the health protocols. My salute to all of you. Again, congratulations and God bless. Thank you so much, sir, for the inspiring message. And this time, partner, to read the message of our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent for Secondary, Dr. Arlene B. Kasipit, please welcome Ma'am April Joyce L. Makashev, Teacher 3 of Tayug National High School. Good day to all of us. This is Ms. April Joyce L. Makashev, and it is my honor and privilege to read to you the message of the officer in charge Office of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Secondary, Dr. Arlene B. Kasipit. My warmest greetings and heartfelt commendations to the organizers and awardees of the 2021 Division Search for Outstanding Science Implementers, including the latter's respective school heads, colleagues, and families who certainly played a great part of such remarkable accomplishment. This activity with its theme, transforming lives of learners through unique and commendable accomplishment of science teachers in the new normal, is indeed very relevant in today's context. In this day and age, educating learners has become much more challenging brought about by fast-paced modernization aggravated by the impact of pandemic. Transforming the lives of learners is not tantamount to converting their minds into a reservoir of knowledge, nor teaching them the skills for them to hurdle their academic battles. It transcends to something beyond acquisition of knowledge and skills, albeit these two things are indispensable, touching learners' heart through modeling, inculcation, and application of good values are measures of transformed lives. In the new normal, teachers are left with two choices, to be content with the limitations of circumstances or to overcome such limitations and raise the bar. Definitely, teachers who opt for the latter are the so-called outstanding teachers who deserve accolades in the truest sense of the world. These are the teachers who exemplify excellence by going extra mile beyond the call of duty 
and exerting efforts beyond expectations. These are the teachers who transform lives of their learners by focusing on the three H, head, heart, and hands. They are the teachers who think critically and creatively to come up with efforts to help learners appreciate the life they have and optimize their potentials to become effective problem solvers and productive members of the community. Hence, this occasion befits them. To all the awardees, do not rest on your laurels. Instead, continue to strive for excellence. May your tribe thrive amidst life challenges and complexities. May you continue transforming lives. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that remarkable message. What makes this event truly special is the privilege to listen to the empowering message of our school's division superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. Sison. School officials, teachers, non-teaching personnel, parents, beloved students, other guests who are with us today, friends, ladies and gentlemen, greetings of hope, peace and love. Despite the continuing pandemic which caused the hardship we are experiencing within our families, community and workplace, some of our school officials and teachers still manage to perform their assigned tasks and responsibilities with flying colors, achieving excellence in the respective field of endeavor. Complementary to this, strong support and collaborative efforts, plus giving due rewards and recognition, further boast the morale of our people to perform their utmost potentials. For this reason, we are having today our virtual awarding ceremony to give due and well-deserved recognition to all our awardees for this year's Division Search for Outstanding Science Implementers. May this endeavor further inspire our awardees and the others who failed to make it today to harness their utmost potentials to achieve excellence in this field. In behalf then of SDO Pangasinan II, I wish to convey my warmest congratulations to all our awardees for this year's search and at the same time pose a challenge to the others to aspire for the said recognition. Again, congratulations and may God bless us all and spare us from this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for the empowering words you have shared. Indeed, quality and excellence emanate from your strong motivation, guidance, and leadership. It is not only our awardees who deserve our applause today. The men and women who work behind the scenes to make this program happen deserve recognition as well. It takes character to labor long and well so that others may be awarded. And partner, I just want to add that the task of this year's technical working committee was burdened by the limitations imposed by the pandemic. But they were persistent to get the task done. The panelists of the Division Outstanding Science Implementers 2021. Education Program Supervisor 1 in Charge of Science, Dr. Julie G. De Guzman. Senior Education Program Specialist of Human Resource Development, Dr. Maria Luisa C. Catalan. Public Schools District Supervisor of San Fabian District 1, Dr. Maria Teresa A. Javier. Public Schools District Supervisor of Santo Tomas District, Dr. Jovi M. Hacones. 
the head teacher 3 of Wanji Makaraeg National High School and the president of the Division Association of Secondary Science Head Teachers, Dr. Yonilin M. Coronio. The head teacher 6 of the Yug National High School, Dr. Revelyn C. Camacho. The head teacher 3 of San Jacinto National High School, Ma'am Rosemary O. De La Pena. Master Teacher 2 and the President of the Division Organization of Youth Science Club Division Executive Council, Dr. Arturo S. Blanco. At this juncture, we would like to inform everyone that the awardees have undergone tedious screening procedures which includes the submission of documents, validation of documents, Deliberation of panelists. Virtual interview which includes demo teaching and the presentation of advocacy and linkages. And with that partner, let's watch this video.
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed the screening process which give us the 2021 Division Outstanding Science Implementers Awardees. Grabe partner, hindi talaga biro ang pinagdaanan ng ating mga teachers. Yes partner, I agree with that. Mula sa submission of documents, validation, deliberation, interview, grabe. Deserve na deserve po nila ang kanilang mga awards. At yan partner na kinatawag natin, the fruit of hard work. At this juncture, let us witness a special number from one of our teacher awardees, a master teacher one of Don Ramon E. Costales Memorial National High School. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give hand to Sir Joseph A. Sarmiento.
ginawa ko mo talaga, Sir Joseph. Balita ko, partner mo, ganyan ka din daw. Partner, ako pa ba ang tinanong mo? Basic lang sa akin yan. Ganyan lang yan. Sana ko talaga. Alright, so once again, thank you so much, Sir, for that very entertaining song number. At this juncture, we now come to the next part of our program. The presentation of the 2021 Division Outstanding Science Implementers Awardees. We would like to inform everyone that each awardee will be receiving a certificate and a plaque of recognition.
just to be with you and fix what I've broken. Oh, guess I need you to see. You are the reason. You are the reason. There goes my hand shaking. And you are the reason My heart keeps bleeding And I hear you now If I could turn back the clock And make you the light, light to fade in the dark, dark Spend every, every hour of every day Keeping you safe Keeping you safe Climb every mountain and sweep every ocean just to be with you and fix what I broke. Walk as I need you to see that you are the reason. Maraming salamat sa pagbahagi mo ng iyong talento. This time, we are very excited to witness the awarding of the finalists for the Division Outstanding Science Implementers for the year 2021. These awards are worth it because our teachers work hard for that. To present our awardees and finalists, may we call on Ms. April Joyce L. Makashub, Teacher 3 of Tayug National High School. Ladies and gentlemen, let me enumerate the criteria for judging for the search for 2021 Division Outstanding Science Implementer for Teachers category. Competence and Effectiveness, 60%. Professional Development and Community Involvement, 30%. Interview and Validation Stage, 10%. A total of 100%. And here are the criteria for Division Outstanding Science Implementer, Head Teachers and Science District Coordinator category. School Leadership and Management, 50%. Instructional Leadership, 20%. Human Resource Management, 20%. Interview and Validation Stage, 10%. A total of 100%. At this juncture, we will be witnessing the awarding of certificates and plaque of recognition to the 2021 Division Outstanding Science Implementer. Please allow me to read the text. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 1, Division of Pangasinan 2, Pinalanan, Pangasinan. This certificate of recognition is hereby awarded to name of party to the 2021 Division Search for Outstanding Science Implementer with a theme Transforming the Lives of Learners Through Unique and Commendable Accomplishments of the Science Teacher in the New Normal for his exemplary performance, invaluable services, undeniable commitment, and outstanding accomplishments 
leading to the successful implementation of the different science programs and projects. Given this 8th day of November 2021 at Pangasinan Division 2 office in Nalanan, Pangasinan, Philippines. Signed, Danilo C. Cecil, ADD, CESA 5, Schools Division Superintendent. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 1, Division of Pangasinan 2, Minamanan, Pangasinan. Awards this plaque of recognition to, name of awardee, to the 2021 Division Search for Outstanding Science Implementer with the theme, The Science Teachers, Celebrating Unique and Commendable Accomplishments in Transforming Lives, for his exemplary performance in valuable services, undeniable commitment, and outstanding accomplishments leading to the successful implementation of the different science program and projects. Given this 8th day of November 2021 at Pangasinan Division 2 office in Alonan, Pangasinan, Philippines. Signed, Danilo C. Cecil, EDD, CESA 5, Schools Division Superintendent. We now come to the highlight of this event. The awarding of the Division Outstanding Science Implementer 2021. Starting with the finalists of the Elementary Teachers category. For the 2021 Division Outstanding Science Implementer finalist, Elementary Teachers category. Starting with Lovelyn De Leon Acla, Teacher 3 of Baluyot Elementary School, Bautista District. Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Rebecca T. Gonzalez. Principal, Ma Maria Elena V. Junio. Principal 1 and Science Coordinator, Ma'am Christina B. Alejos. Dr. Charlie C. Estabilio, Master Teacher 2 of Gonzales Elementary School, San Quintin District. School Head, Mamlani R. Astorga. Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Mary Jean Y. De Los Reyes. Dr. Rowena E. Hogno, Master Teacher 2 of Don Luis Domingo Senior Elementary School, San Quintin District. School Head, Ma'am Dolores L. Navalta. Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Mary Jean Y. De Los Reyes. Ma'am Laila and Tersol, Teacher 3 of Don Benito Elementary School, Pusorubio District 2. Head Teacher, Dr. Zinaida L. Baterna. Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Neil V. Gavina.
Professor Shahari and Cecil Cortez, Senior High School Teacher 2 of Omingan National High School 6th District. Head Teacher, Ma'am Rosalie H. Madaya. Officer in Charge of the Office of the Assistant Principal, Sir Wilmart S. Casareno. Principal, Dr. Loreto V. Borillo. Mamaricho Caranto Lardizabal, Teacher 3 of Antonio P. Villar National High School. Head Teacher, Dr. Happy Elena M. Quebral. Principal, Dr. James F. Ferrer. Dr. Christopher Caballo Miranda, Master Teacher 1 of the Hugh National High School 6th District. Certificate and Block of Recognition are to be awarded by Head Teacher Dr. Revelyn C. Camacho, along with the different head teachers of the different departments of the Hugh National High School. Officer in charge of the Office of the Senior High School Assistant Principal, Dr. Roderick R. Castillo. Principal, 
من فابي اف تجوال Mamrovi Marie Doctolero C, Senior High School Teacher 3 of Benigno V. Aldana National High School. Head Teacher, Mam Teresita E. Zarate. Senior High School Assistant Principal, Sir Russ D. V. Basbas. Principal, Dr. Roberto B. Quezon.
Sir Gerald Ventura of Amingan Central National High School. Head Teacher, Ma'am Rosalie H. Madayag. Officer in Charge of the Office of the Senior High School Assistant Principal, Sir Wilmart S. Casareno. Principal, Dr. Loreto V. Burillo. Once again, congratulations, teachers! And now, let us delight our audience in a dance spectacle. Let us welcome the energetic and enthusiastic teachers from Bunog Elementary School, Puzurubi 2, as they render their exciting intermission number.
with me. Once again, thank you so much, Bunag Elementary School Dancing Teachers, headed by their principal, Dr. Priscilla and Magpili, with her teachers, Ma'am Mirna B. Paras, Ma'am Jean L. Sabangan, Ma'am Jennifer S. Cortez, Ma'am Marisa O. Daipan, Ma'am Catherine M. Dizo, Ma'am Jane G. Malakad, and Ma'am Milagros D. Makato. Sana all partner TikTok series. Partner, paano ba mag-TikTok? Ay, naku, partner, madali lang yan. Sabagyan mo ko ha. Sige nga, matry nga. Ngayon ito lang. Ayun na nga, partner, di ba? So, ayun na nga. Thank you so much, Buneg Elementary School. As a risiko once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. At eto mga partner, the long way is over. We are now on the highlight of this event. The most awaited proud moment of our excellent teachers has finally come. Ladies and gentlemen, let us witness the, the awarding of the top five divisions, divisions most outstanding science implementers. First placer, Dr. Denton Nervasa Caballero, Master Teacher 2 of East Central Elementary School, Special Science Class, San Fabian District 2. Principal, Mr. Rameses F. Zarate. Public Schools District Supervisor, Mr. Herminio M. Seraon Jr. District Science Coordinator, Dr. Michelle Estrada Galang. Second placer, Dr. Maria Cecilia de Guzman Fabia, Master Teacher 1 of Mangaldan Integrated School SPED Center, District Science Coordinator and Principal, Dr. Gemma V. Naraha, Former Principal of Mangaldan Integrated School SPED Center, 
Now, the principal in Mangaldan Central School, Mangaldan 1, Dr. Jupiter L. Pitilia. Public Schools District Supervisor, Mangaldan District, Dr. Minerva D. Serafica. Dr. May Grace Mayuba Balesteros Master Teacher 2 of Yologio Arshaga Elementary School, Natividad District Head Teacher, Ma'am Jeneline B. Ravara Science District Coordinator, Mr. Ernesto C. Funasher Jr. Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Imelda S. Lazaro
Placer, Sir Rosalio D. Baybayan Jr., Master Teacher 1 of Santiago Elementary School, Binalonan District 2. Head Teacher, Ma'am Teresita D. Sabalboro. Principal, Dr. Ferdinand C. Cabrera. Sir, Ma Melanie Prestoza Season, Master Teacher One of ADS Senior Elementary School, Bautista District, Principal and Science District Coordinator, Ma'am Cristina B. Alejos, Principal, Dr. Julius J. Quinto, Public Schools District Supervisor. Dr. Rebecca T. Gonzalez. Silvestre, Master Teacher 1 of Cipriano B. Permisas National High School, Head Teacher Dr. Concepcion B. Minu, Assistant Principal Dr. Jerlyn C. Bamis, Principal Dr. Jovelita P. Official. Sir, Sir Mark Angelbert Basto Dulay, Teacher 3 of Tayug National High School, 6th District. Certificate and plaque of recognition are awarded by 
Head Teacher, Dr. Revelyn C. Camacho, along with the different head teachers of the different department of the Yug National High School, namely, Ma'am Nora B. Guluya, Ma'am Rowena D. Tabad, Ma'am Shirley K. Sante, Sir Mark R. Martinez, Sir Januarios P. Sante, Sir Victor B. Abad, and Sir Rosalino M. Ambrosio. Officer in charge of the Office of the Senior High School Assistant Principal, Dr. Roderick R. Castillo. Principal, Ma'am Febi F. Cagawan. Blazer, Sir Joseph A. Sarmiento, Master Teacher 1 of Don Ramon E. Costales Memorial National High School, 5th District. Head Teacher, Sir John Darrell C. Casancad, Assistant Principal, Dr. Evelyn C. B.I., Principal, Dr. Rowena Lea G. Moreno. Education Program Supervisor, Dr. Julie G. De Guzman.
Port Placer, Ma'am Sheila Marie Sibayan Kiamson, Master Teacher 1 of San Fabian National High School, 4th District, Head Teacher, Sir Jose O. Biason, Senior High School Assistant Principal, Sir Rolando G. Mayugba, Principal, Dr. Jesus B. Nazareno. Placer. Sir Jerry Ragadi Tamayo, Master Teacher 2 of Don Ramon E. Costales Memorial National High School, 5th District. Head Teacher, Sir John Darrell C. Casinca. Assistant Principal, Dr. Evelyn C. Bia. Principal, Dr. Rowena Leia G. Moreno Education Program Supervisor Dr. Julie G. De Guzman
first placer, Dr. Priscilla N. Magpili, Principal 4 of Bunag Elementary School, Pusorubio 2, Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Neil B. Gavina. Second Nicer, Sir John Daryl C. Kasungkat, Head Teacher 3 of Don Ramon E. Costales Memorial National High School. Assistant Principal, Dr. Evelyn C. Biay. Principal, Dr. Rowena Lea G. Moreno. Education Program Supervisor, Dr. Julie G. De Guzman. Placer, Dr. Michelle Rabino Lohan, Head Teacher 3 of Bautista National High School, Assistant Principal, Dr. Mary Grace C. De La Massa, Principal, Mr. Eduardo B. Castillo.
Once again, congratulations, teachers! At this point, let us pay attention, keen our ears to our bodily leader, our education program supervisor in science, no other than our endearing Dr. Julie G. De Guzman for the words of challenge. Our very dynamic schools division superintendent, Sir Danilo C. Season, the very supportive two assistant schools division superintendent, Madam Arlene Casipi and Sir Wilfredo Sendayan, the viewers of the virtual awarding ceremony, the 2021 Division Search for Outstanding Science Implementer. To all of you, a pleasant and fruitful day to all. Today we recognize 10 outstanding science teachers and three school administrators, a principal and two science head teachers. Our awardees and division finalists passed through rigid phases of screening. I believe there are more teachers like our awardees that need to be given a push to come out of their shells to show their abilities, proficiency, and For the last six years as your education program supervisor in science, I observed and discovered potential teachers whose commitment to work and love of learners were considered far excellent. This is a challenge for you science teachers to show that you are also outstanding not only in papers, Show everyone your skills. Volunteer yourself to be of service to the school and community. Don't keep it by yourself. You have to show it to others. To the division finalists, this is just the beginning to achieve more. Continue what you had started and God will give you more. To the awardees, this award reflects humbleness, responsibility, and love of work. Today I quote from Spider-Man, With great power comes great responsibility. Power here is not a force, but power to multiply good, responsible teachers. Power to refuel other teachers to become committed and efficient. Congratulations to all of you for a job well done. For God be the glory. May I also express my unending gratitude to the Technical Working Committee, Dr. Lisa Catalan, Dr. Maria Teresa Javier, Dr. Juby Hacones, Dr. Leonelin Coronia, Dr. Revelyn Camacho, Dr. Arturo Blanco, and Madam Rosemary de la Peña, this event will not be of success without you. Our consultants for this activity, CID Chief Dr. Cornelio Aquino, SGOD Chief Dr. Rosalino Agpano, Dr. Arlene Casipi, Dr. Wilfredo Sindayan, and our SDS Dr. Danilo C. Sison. Thank you from the inner core of my humble heart. Special thanks to Tayug National High School for preparing this very organized event, the virtual awarding ceremony. Thanks to Dr. Revelyn Camacho, Madam Febi Kagawan, and all science teachers. Marami pong salamat sa inyo. Thank you very much, Dr. Julie G. D. Guzman, for that stirring words of challenge. The science family is truly fortunate to have you as our leader. This time, in response to our words of challenge, let's welcome Dr. Priscilla M. Magpili, Principal 4 of Bune Elementary School. First placer for 2021 Division Outstanding Science Implementers, District Science Coordinators and Head Teachers category.
our energetic schools division superintendent, Dr. Danilo C. C. Sonser, the equally supportive assistant schools division superintendent, Dr. Arlene B. Casipit, and Dr. Belfredo Isindayan, the viewers of this virtual awarding ceremony, the division search for outstanding science implementers. A pleasant day to one and all. Success is not an accident. It is the product of hard work, perseverance, choice, and persistence. The awards that we are going to receive today are the accumulation of our commitment, dedication, and patience to our duty. The knowledge and values derived from the search will guide us to help unleash the highest potentials of our co-teachers to develop their skills, knowledge, and abilities. We commit ourselves to strive more for the benefits of our learners. Rest assured that we are going to keep our passion to be of help to our school, community, and to others. To all the awardees and finalists, congratulations. In closing, I would like to give my thanks and gratitude to Dr. Julie G. De Guzman, our Education Program Supervisor in Science, for the wisdom and encouragement. The panelists who gave their judgment early to all the contenders. Dr. Neil B. Gavina, our Public Schools District Supervisor, for his technical assistance and guidance. Bunig Elementary School teachers for their under unending love and care. School heads and teachers of Puso Review District 2 for their prayers. To my dear family, thank you for your inspiration. Lastly, Thanks and praises to our Almighty Creator for the guidance and blessings. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that powerful response. As we end today's program, we would like to express our sincerest gratitude to all of you for sharing your precious time with us. And of course, congratulations to our teacher awardees and finalists. As we end today's program, we would like to express our sincerest gratitude to all of you for sharing your precious time with us. And of course, congratulations to our teacher awardees and finalists. We just want to share a very beautiful and inspiring quote to everybody. From Napoleon Hill and I quote, Before success comes in any man's life, he is sure to meet with much temporary defeat and perhaps some failure. When defeat overtakes a man, the easiest and most logical thing to do is to quit. That is exactly what the majority of men do. More than 500 of the most successful men this country has ever known told the author that their greatest success came just one step beyond the point at which defeat had overtaken. Lesson, don't quit and always try to succeed. Once again, this is Marjorie Yarda Los Santos. And this is Raymark Villa Wishing you all a pleasant day ahead. Thank you and God bless.